What's good, y'all? It's your man, Reese. Welcome to Drip Talk, the place where we talk about everything fit. Fit stands for fashion and interesting topics. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the bell notification for any future uploads. I'm going to give y'all a little second to do that. All right, let's get to it. Today, we're going to be talking about the importance of listening to understand and not listen to respond. All right. The reason why I really wanted to make this video is because I feel like we're living in an age where people don't have no voice. People don't have no say. If you say some something is either you a a, a sexist, a, a a racist, or any ist, there is all right. And this is a real problem because the reason why society is not really progressing the way that it should is because so many people don't like to listen to other people. All right. And I really wanted to make this video to really dive in into why this is so, so important to listen to people to understand them instead of just responding out of your emotions. All right. So I wanted to make this video to, to provide some value and clarity. All right, good people. <clears throat> so as we know, um, I'm going to use this for instance. Uh, I'm going to throw out a, a good example out there that a lot of men could relate to. And fellas, we know this is a thing, okay? Every time a man has an opinion, he's always demonized. If he has a standard, he's always demonized. If he has any input in anything, he's demonized. A man, all right? A lot of men really don't have any voice in this day and age. That's why the red pill and the manosphere is popping right now because men finally get a voice. This is why this type of sector of YouTube is being on the map. It's coming on the map, you know, becoming a, a thing now, very popular. So, fellas, we all been in that one situation, whether we had a girlfriend, I mean, not me personally, but... A lot of men out there, they've been in a situation that where they was in a relationship with a woman and they shared a concern or something that they find, you know, needed to be addressed. And the woman first instinct is just to attack you. She everything that you tell her goes right out her ear. All right? It goes in through one ear, out through the other ear. And you just like, did you even listen to a word I just said? Like, I, it's frustrating. I get it, fellas. All right. We've been through this. All right. I, I haven't been in a relationship that, you know, I ain't been in a relationship that this happened in. But like, talking to certain women, yeah, I have been in that. Because we all been there. What is your... Uh, uh, a woman that you went to school with or you know it could be a friend or you know but fellas we know that this is a issue and it needs to be addressed because our voices are not being heard loud enough I mean thank God for the red pill and the manosphere bringing our voices um, to the forefront but we still have a lot of work to do all right and this is this doesn't only apply to men. It's, it, it applies to everybody. Everybody should be heard and listened and um, listened to and understood in a way where they, <clears throat> when they have a concern and they want to bring something for to the table, they should be heard and not disregarded just because nobody cares. Okay, and you expect people to. To listen to you, but you don't want to listen to other people. That's like a, a, a double standard. But I believe that society doesn't um, really, I, honestly, they don't, they don't care about men. Like, we, we know this for a fact. 
that's why so many men are being um, silenced and um, demonized if they say anything that would make a woman upset or they would say anything that they strongly believe in but it doesn't come in, into accordance with somebody else's um, plan or somebody else's um, ideology all right and I, I really feel like this is a big problem in our society that we don't listen enough to each other especially when it comes to women listening to men all right I'm not trying to make this a man and woman thing but I feel like a, a, I'm like using the word feel I believe that feel is a a woman use feel a lot, so that's why I don't like using feel. But anyways, because feelings, let me let me make this point real quick. Feelings, and this I want to go too off topic, but feelings is something that you know it's not coming. Feeling your feelings could always be misguided. All right, that's why I don't like using the um the word I feel, I feel, I feel because. Feelings could be misguided a lot of times. So I want to speak with like logic and facts. And I believe in this because it's factual and true. All right. So basically, this is a really big problem in our society. And I feel like more women are not listening to men than it is the other way around. Because we men have been told for years what they what the women want from them. We We heard this. A whole, we heard this every day of our lives, pretty much. A woman wants a man to do this, that, that. But now, when the the men are starting to ask for things too, it's starting to become a problem. And anytime a man wants to address his concerns and what he desires, he's demonized. All right, and this is not right. This is not. It shouldn't be this way. You know, just because. I feel like a lot of women feel like just because a man is a man, he just, uh, if they view men as like emotionless Neanderthals or something, like they don't have, they, they some just like human monkeys or something like that. Women view men like they, they just some human monkeys that don't know what they're doing and they just want sex all the time and all. Like, no, we actually think, we actually, you know, do other things besides that. You know, it's not just, um, we not just no, we ain't no circus sex freaks or nothing like that. That's we not that. We human beings just like you are. We have emotions too, emotions that the world doesn't care about, and that's why men say always stay silent and bottle up all the emotions. And and the the more as we all know, the more your emotions get bottled up, the more the likely you are to lash out and do something terrible. So that's why we need these spaces for men to express themselves and express their concerns and how they feel. All right? That's why I like the, the manosphere and, fear and the red pill content because it always brings that to light. You know, and it's not to, to demonize women and do this we just trying to be heard that's all that's all it is it ain't it's no hard feelings or us trying to to just complain it's not about that because we all are unperfect we all need work we all could get better you know man or woman it doesn't matter that's why it's so important for us to actually listen to each other all right to understand each other's grievances grievances each other's concerns and we could work towards a tangible solution and brothers and sisters that is the video for today if you like this video be sure to leave a comment all right be sure to leave a like on this video be sure to hit that subscribe button be sure to hit the bell notification all right good people and also, if you want to follow the Drip Talk um, Instagram page, it's in the link in the description box down below. As well as, um, I have a TikTok that I upload short clip videos from Drip Talk as well. You can follow that. That's in the link in the description box. If you want to follow my personal social media accounts, 
They are in the link in the description box down below as well. I also have a clothing brand called Nation of Dripping. All right. We about to release some new merch very soon. So stay tuned, good people. All right. The link to the website and the store is in the link in the description box as well as all the social media accounts for the brand as well. All right, my good people. Until next time. Y'all be easy. Y'all be breezy. Your man signing out. Peace.